Hey guys, my name is Scubby. Today I'm going to be showing you how to activate and set up a newly installed internal drive in Windows. This is going to be a nice quick and easy tutorial. Let's jump right into this. The first thing you want to do is click your Windows key and we're going to be searching in the little pop-up. And we're going to be searching for disk management. Once this little window pops up, you want to click enter and it will open it up. And if this is your first time opening this, since you have a new drive plugged in, you should get this initialized disk little window popped up here. You can select whatever new disks you currently have. In this case, I only have one, so I'm going to be selecting disk two. And now we're going to be getting two options to choose between MBR and GPT. Now I'd recommend looking into these in more detail yourself if you need something specific. I'm going to leave some extra links down below that you can go into to read for them. I'm not going to be going into them too much right now. But in this case, I'd recommend choosing for GPT in most cases. It has a larger file size and you can create more partitions on a disk it's also the more commonly used one now but if you have a really specific use case you may want to select mbr but of course that's up to you in this case I'm going to be selecting gpt but it should be noted this isn't going to work on all versions of windows but i think for windows 7 up it should be perfectly fine once you have this done you should see your unallocated disk at the very bottom what we're going to be doing is right clicking this and then click new simple volume and now we're going to be following along with the setup wizard on screen so for this one, it should be set by default to the maximum amount. So all we're going to have to do is click next. Then we have to assign a letter to our drive. In this case, it's going to be selecting E. Of course, you can select whatever free letter you have available to you in your Windows system. This doesn't really matter. It's really just an identifier for Windows. Then we're going to be able to choose our file system. In this case, it's going to be using it as NTFS. I'd recommend using that in most cases. Then we're going to be able to select our allocation unit size. I would recommend leaving this on default. And then we can select our volume label, which is just going to be the name of the hard drive. Then you're going to be able to choose if you want to perform a quick format and or enable file and folder compression. In this case, I'm just going to be performing a quick format. You can enable or disable this if you want, but I recommend doing it. Click next. Then it'll give you a quick preview of everything you set up. Click finish, your format should be done and your drive should be initialized. Now if we come to this PC in our file explorer, we should be able to see all our active drives. And as you can see, I have three drives currently here and the SANIC drive has been initialized and is working perfectly. Anyway guys, it's that easy to set up a new internal drive in Windows. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm gonna leave a link down below to my PayPal if you wanna support me. I make all these videos for free, I work full time. I put a lot of work into the channel. If you can support me in any way, it would really mean a lot. It would help me keep making these videos. Anyway, guys, until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.